Oh, today we're fucking with our trucks. Yeah, these are independent. Stage four. Standard Kingpin. And I have some stage 11 inverted Kingpin base plates. Inverted Kingpin. We got too much wobble, so I'm taking these Kingpins. Get a little Kingpin removing jig. I put the stage four base plate in, I knocked it out, and now I got a nut on this side. What we're gonna do is uh, scuff it up, clean it up, degrease it, JB weld that motherfucker in there, yeah. And we're gonna have inverted kingpin stage fours. Base plate's mounted, there's a hole underneath there to catch the kingpin. Get our safety glasses. All right, put the nut on, get it flush, and get your brass mallet. Let's go knock this motherfucker out. There it is. Take the nut off. And there it is. Easy as that. Okay, this step right here is the essential key to your longevity of your trucks. You know, holding together with inverted kingpins. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some uh, grip tape, anything that you can score the metal with, and we're gonna scratch this all up inside. So the JB weld and the nut has something to bond to, like a cross hatching, almost like honing a cylinder. And we're gonna do the same with these nuts. Just take a piece of grip tape. All right, see how smooth that is? See how we got texture in there now? That's what you want. Yeah, same with the nuts. See how they're all scored up? You got your base plates prepped? You got your nuts prepped? You ready to JB weld? No, not yet. Make sure you clean the metal. Remove all oil, grease, dirt, grime. Clean this until the rag is as clean as it is when you started. See all that dirt in there? Keep wiping it until your rag is clean. Take the nuts. Don't skip that part. Get your JB weld. I use a chopstick. Seems to work the best for me. All right, mix her up. You're gonna use a chopstick like a paintbrush. I'll show you. It's gonna go in. And I start at the very top of the rim. Just work my way down. And this isn't gonna set up in a couple of minutes. You got plenty of time, so don't rush. Take your time. And I'll continue to go around the walls until I don't see any more of the base plate. Don't worry about getting any dripping down in the hole because you're gonna wipe it out. We're gonna Q-tip it at the end. Now we're gonna do the nuts. Just take a little bit. Drop it in. Don't matter, you don't need to fuck with it. You're gonna be moving that nut all over the place in the next couple of minutes, so just let it sit in there. All right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have some sort of little pick. This is a piece of stainless steel safety wire. 
I've coiled it and that you're gonna go around and gently tap up and down. That's gonna remove all your air bubbles, but that's for the end. As of now, just take your time and we're just gonna slowly, cleanly start filling in. So this one's pretty much done. Now we're just gonna fill this one in. Okay, let's go around. All right, we got all the air out. All right, looks good. What I could do is just get it real tight. Do a half a moon. Okay, last but not least, take a Q-tip, run it on the bottom side of the nut. Look at that. Waller it out. All right. Now just check your holes. Make sure you got them where you want them. Yeah, it looks good. All right. There you have it. Let those dry for 24 hours. If you're thinking about doing the inverted king pins on your stage four indies, and you don't have a set of the inverted kingpin base plates, and you don't want to spend $30 on two kingpins, there's an alternative right here. Crux trucks, they're made at the same fucking factory, same fucking hardware, $9.95, get you some. I'm gonna fix these. These inverted kingpin base plates were a factory flaw. The inserts are loose, so I'm gonna drill, tap, and put a stainless steel insert pushing against the inside barrel of those threads. And that'll keep it from moving around. And I'll be able to use them again with the inverted kingpins. So, there you go. 10 bucks, get you some stage fours, and have plenty of grind clearance. You. All right, got the base plate mocked up in the vise. Probably right about there. Drill, tap, and set screw. Yeah. And once we get our trucks adjusted, we'll put a little blue Loctite on here. Tighten the kingpin down, and it should be good to go. So when we put that stainless set screw in there, it's going to apply pressure against the kingpin and it will keep it rock solid, no wobble. All right, cool. Allen wrench that comes with your skate hardware. This is a quarter by 20 set screw. Oh yeah, like butter. So that'll go in. That's what it's gonna look like. Let's put them together. All right, and our independent stage four inverted kingpins are completed. Look at that fucking grind clearance. Hell yeah. Got my set screw. All right, we're gonna bolt these on and we'll adjust them and then we'll blue lock tight the set screws we're ready to grind pin install is completed now if you'd like to do this at home on your own you're only going to achieve this by purchasing a set of stage 11 standard bushings i get the red softs and you're going to change the stage 4 top bushing for the stage 11 top bushing it's going to lower it i had these in before i did the inverted kingpins but not as much as this so yeah you're not even going to get that kingpin thread started in the nut 
unless you got that shorter top bushing in. So trade it out. Now let's go have some more fun and test these babies out with some slides and grinds. All right, Anya, let's tell them. We're gonna put these trucks to the test. We're gonna hit that curb hard. I wanna to try to loosen those kingpins up. I want them to hit as hard as possible and see if it can take it. If it can take it, then this board can go out of town with me and be 100% reliable. So this is the test. And what it's on is a Chico Sticks, Chico Brenes, Big Boy 9 Club. 9 by 32, 14 inch wheelbase. Fig rails, bone Swiss bearings, Powell Peralta Dragon Formula. The new 53 millimeters. real quick set screws are still in they've had plenty of time for the blue loctite to set up until i've been hitting the kingpin but thank god for all that clearance so the trucks are grinding great they're turning great responding back to center um yeah kingpins are still rigid so let's continue we ain't done yet Could use some wax. Ew. That was a good minute sweat sesh. Good test on the trucks. The conclusion of the stage four modified inverted king pin Indies. These are 151s. They're 8.6 wide. And test that. Just like that. King pin stayed rigid and solid the entire skate sesh. All right, we're back home and one last thing to check is the set screws. I just wanna see if they loosened up at all. So we'll get in there. Nope, that's tight. Nope, they never loosened up, so. Okay, 100% confident that I can go out of town and have a full skate day with no problems. We'll put them to the test this weekend. All right, we're gonna test these trucks out. On that curb. And this curb.
today we're skating independence stage four diy inverted kingpins 166s yeah these are the nine inch y trucks i have three sets i've got 146 151 and the 166s and i have done inverted kingpins on all of them i've been skating them all testing them all and they're all fantastic Yeah, I mean, the feel is just solid. I mean, it's all I can say. All I can do is skate, skate, and skate. I got multiple pairs of these trucks, and I'm just telling you, it works. Take your time and have fun. That's what it's all about. And never hanging up. <laughs> 